Okay, so question 63 to 65 is talking about a uh, counter current heat exchange. Um, and uh, in fish, now we have our graph. We can use our five skills to assess it. First thing is to label the graph. There is no label, so we give it a label. And um, so we would probably say this is water temperature versus maximum muscle temperature for three types of fish. And uh, number two, we look at the water temperature. We see that it goes up in groups of five, so it's very constant. And it's in degrees Celsius. And, but it doesn't start at zero, zero. So we notice that part in the bottom left part of the, of the graph, which is a little unusual. Then we um, look at uh, three, which is uh, the y-axis. We look at that. And it's also going up in fives. It also doesn't start at zero, and it's in degrees Celsius. Okay. And then uh, exponent logarithm, nope. And uh, area under the curve, slope. Well, yeah, there's lots of interesting slopes here. You know, they're going up and down at different rates. Different. They're all increasing. They're all positive slopes, but they're different rates of increase. The bluefin obviously is not increasing as quickly as uh, skipjack and yellowfin. And in fact, the yellow fin is increasing at the fastest rate. It has the slope, which is at the greatest angle. The other ones, the other ones have um, lesser slopes, like the blue fin, and then uh, then the skipjack. And then the yellow fin starts lower than skipjack, but it's increasing at a faster rate than skipjack. So that gives me a little sense, you know, by looking at the slopes. Now, um, the first question. If the graph lines continue uh, to be linear outside of the water temperature range is shown, okay, of course they do that, for which of the following is maximum muscle temperature closest to water temperature? Maximum muscle temperature. So we want what's on the y-axis to be closest to what's on the x-axis. And to make that as simple as possible, uh, the, right, uh, the easiest thing to do is well, you can take a pen, but really, I think you would take your exam booklet, like your answer sheet from your exam booklet, and uh, you would just um, look for points that are the same. Like, you know, there's a point at 1515, for example, 1515, and then there's a point uh, that would be at uh, 2020, you know, say, say like that, uh, 2020 you know, and then uh, so on. So you go 15, 15, 20, 20, 30, 30, whatever. But you basically, you just put your, your pen like that um, along those dots. That's one way to do it. But honestly, the, the easiest way to do it is to take a, a piece of paper. So you, you would put a piece of paper along the dots where you have the same number for the uh, maximum muscle temperature and the same number for the water temperature. And that way, if you put a paper there, then you would see where it would intersect outside of the graph, below the graph, and you would see where it intersects outside of the graph, above the graph. And when you do that, you would notice that it seems that skipjack and yellowfin are coming to a point which is consistent with the slope that you just created with your paper or pen. So slipjack and yell. But when you go down, you see that there's a there's a distance between the the pen and anything else, you know. But when you get up here, it seems like they're gonna be really, really close. In fact, I can't tell if it's yellow fin or skipjack that will win in the end and touch the pen uh, outside of the um, the normal graph zone. So and that's clearly around 40, 40 degrees Celsius. And since they only give us one answer choice at 40 degrees Celsius, which is skipjack, thank goodness they didn't offer us yellow fin at 40 degrees Celsius, then answer choice D is definitely the correct answer. Yeah, if they had a yellow fin, that would be an, a very impolite question. <laughs> so uh, anyway, you know, yes, I'm, I'm sure somebody's going to ask, can't you do it by y is equal to mx plus b and start to, uh, you know, do some equivalent equations or simultaneous equations? Yes, I'm sure you can do that, but uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> so if you want to finish the exam, sometimes just take a piece of paper, look at the slope and, and go on to the next question. 
So, uh, question 64. Uh, which of the following describes the relationship between maximum muscle turnover and water temperature in the skipjack? So we're going to concentrate on that skipjack, okay, and see what it's doing. As, as water temperature increases, the difference between maximum muscle temperature and water temperature. So the difference between maximum... So now, now we're talking about the slope. And... And... <laughs> and what what Acer did is they they did it again is they 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 made us do something relatively simple for the first question but the first question is setting up the understanding for the second question so the first question is asking do you know what a unit slope is okay cuz a unit slope is you know this thing where uh, the slope is equal to 1. So remember slope is uh, rise over run. So delta y over delta x is uh, the slope. So if we wanted to go here, we take the slope um, delta y. Here, the change in y going at these two points would be um, 5. <laughs> and the change in, in x uh, would be 5. So the slope is 1. So this is called a unit slope when you have the same amount on, on both. Now, if you have any graph that is uh, increasing at a greater rate than the unit slope, so even if it's down here, as long as the slope is increasing faster than the unit slope, that means it's not just that it's a positive slope, but that it's increasingly, in, it's increasing the difference the difference between uh, the y-axis and the x-axis is increasing in a linear way because the slope is greater than the unit slope. But if the slope is less than the unit slope, if it's going at any angle like this, it doesn't matter if it's below or above, the point is, is that the angle of the slope is, uh, is less than that. Okay, I'll do this one in red. So here, this would be an example of a, of a slope that is less than the unit slope. It means that yes, it is positive, yes, it is increasing over time, but the rate of increase, the, the, the difference in the increase is decreasing. <laughs> so if you knew this about um, graphs, if you knew this about um, graphs, then you would then you would just look at the angle of the skipjack and yellowfin because they made us prove that skipjack and yellowfin had a slope less than the unit um, slope because way out here around forty, they made us notice that these uh, these graphs for skipjack, which starts somewhere around 15, oh, above 15, uh, somehow looks like skipjack is gonna intersect out here. So that means its angle is less than, than that of the unit. Um, so, and also the one for yellowfin as well, it seems to you know start about here and then go up to this point. So, um, okay. N but that is one way to do it, okay? Well, because this is the fastest way to do it. Because you would just look at the curves. You would have just done the uh, the the unit slope uh, curve, and then you would notice that the other slopes are below less than the unit slope, and so that means that the uh, the 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 decrease um, the difference between the maximum uh, muscle temperature and the water temperature is decreasing over time. It's decreasing linearly. Okay, let's say you th you think that, you know, you don't want to do all that stuff uh, and you just want to find some other way to do it. Of course you can. So um, what you can do is you can uh, look at uh, the graph at around uh, um, 10 degrees and then you, you go up and you look at skipjack, right? And skipjack, you're going to see that it, the maximum muscle temperature for skipjack at when we have a water temperature 10 degrees is 20. So the difference at 10 degrees is going to be five. 
uh, 10, going from 20 uh, to 10. So at 10 degrees uh, water temperature, we have a difference, here I'll, I'll write difference again, of uh, 10 degrees. Okay, next, let's go to 20 degrees. So if we go to 20 degrees, um, we see that the skipjack is okay. So it's somewhere between 25 and 30, but it's closer to um, 25. So let's say it's 27. So at 20, it's 27, so this difference is 7 degrees. So let's go to another 30, going back again, looking at skipjack. Uh, so it's less than 35, but just less than um, 35. So we can say that's 34. So the difference is 4, four degrees. So at 30, it's 4. So as we go up linearly, 10 to 20 to 30, the difference goes down by 3. So we went from 10 to 7 uh, to 4, so it's going down, um, but it's going down. It is going down, uh, the difference, but uh, linearly. And it's because it has a unit slope that's less than 1. So those are two different ways to do it, but the uh, question 64, the answer is C. Now 65, which of the three tuna species most likely uh, to live and be active in water with the greatest temperature range. So to be active in the water with the greatest temperature range means that um, you have a propensity towards homeostasis. Homeostasis, it's like, uh, uh, you know, being able to keep uh, your, the body or the organism within a more controlled uh, environment, more controlled temperatures, more controlled um, uh, whatever we are referring to. So, to, so we, what we would want to do is to have, choose something, uh, one, one organism that has, that's going to have the least change over the widest water temperature. Because the water temperature is something that you cannot control. It's the outside. It's the world. It's the environment. But you would want to be an organism that as the water temperature changes, your temperature is going to have the least amount of change over time. And that means, again, it's, this is a slope question because it means that you want to have the flattest slope. The flattest slope, whatever the slope is that would be as flat as possible, means that as the, the uh, water outside environmental temperatures are changing, the internal temperatures are hardly changing so the organism can work in its... Um, in its neutral zone or homeostatic uh, zone easier. So the flattest curve, which would, uh, it's not, definitely not as flat as I just drew, <laughs> but the flattest curve is the bluefin. And, and the other way of thinking of it, the bluefin has the smallest delta y for any delta x. Again, that's the same thing as saying the smallest uh, slope. And so uh, bluefin would be the correct answer choice for uh, question 65. And uh, if you want to uh, learn about uh, countercurrent exchange systems, which uh, gives you a little bit of um, um, background, it is in uh, bio uh, 10.3. It's not necessary to answer this question, but uh, it, it does uh, give some uh, insight.